All right, a uh, very brief lucky calculus. Quiz 15, this is the friendly review. Write the equation of the line passing through 3, 7 with a slope of 2. So this is going to be my x sub 1, and this is going to be my y sub 1. Sometimes I like to write it down right above it, like 3, 7 here, 3, comma 7, and my slope is 2. And I'm just going to fill in the blanks. y minus 7 equals 2 times x minus the 3. And that's it. That's your answer. It's pretty quick and painless. Just fill in the blank. Now, number 2, first thing we want to do is find the slope. I'm sorry, find the derivative. Find the derivative. Um, the derivative is going to be 3 times 2. That's 6 x and then don't forget you have to subtract one from that so 6x squared plus 4 the derivative of 4x is 4 now you want to find the slope that's f prime of 1 so at x equals 1 so I'm going to take this value here and I'm going to plug in x equals 1 so that's going to equal 6 times 1 squared plus 4 well 1 squared is is 1 and 1 times 6 is 6 6 plus 4 is 10 Moving on. Find the equation of the tangent line at 1, 6 in point-slope form. Point-slope form, not slope-intercept form. Um, so I have to take this here coordinate for C, which is 1, 6. I'm going to write it down here, 1, comma, 6. And I know my slope is now 10, so it's just going to be Y minus 6 equals 10 times x minus 1. And that's it. You just want to plug it in. Just want to plug it in. Number three, <clears throat> I want to find the derivative of sine x. So I hope we're all getting the uh, good at this. The derivative of sine x for 3a is going to be cosine x. Then they want me to find the derivative at pi over 3. So that's going to be for part b, cosine of pi over 3. Cosine of pi over 3 on my chart. So cosine pi over 3 is 1 half. Part B, write the equation in point-slope form. So that's a little involved. It's a little involved, yet. Yeah. Um, so we have the point, pi over 3, comma, root 3 over 2. And we have our slope equals 1 half. So you just plug it into the formula. So y minus root 3 over 2 equals 1 half times x minus pi over 3. And that's some calculus there. So that's 3c. 3c is my answer. Number 4, we can use the calculator for it. So you want to turn it on. You're going to hit this button right here. Then you're going to type in 6, alpha red x, hit the x squared button, down arrow from 0, up arrow to 2, hit equals, and it kicks out the answer pretty quickly, 16. Now, this one, the antiderivative of cosine x is sine x, evaluated from pi over 2 up to 3 pi over 4. So sine of 3 pi over 4, if I go to my chart, sine of 3 pi over 4. So here's sine 3 pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. So this is going to equal root 2 over 2. Sine of pi over 2. Sine of pi over 2 on my chart. Sine pi over 2 is 1. So here comes my calculus. My answer is going to be root 2 over 2 minus 1. Calculus is getting a little bit more involved. Antiderivative, negative cosecant cotangent, is just cosecant. So now I have to evaluate cosecant x from pi over 6 up to pi over 4. So cosecant of pi over 4, I believe, is going to be 2. Let me see here. Cosecant pi over 4. Oop, I was wrong. It's root 2. Cosecant pi over 4 is root 2. So that's going to go to root 2. Let's see what cosecant of pi over 6 is. Cosecant pi over 6. So here's cosecant, pi over 6. Oh, that was 2. That was 2. So your answer, the calculus is going to be root 2 minus 2. And that's your answer.